Hi guys, we're here in Kuji Beach. I'm here with Alice. And so we're just gonna run through a couple of questions on you know, running each other's businesses, you know, where we're at, and then maybe ask each other questions to ultimately give value to our audience and each other as well. So Alice, tell me more about your business and what you do. Okay, so uh, my business is called Alice Advertising and we mainly do video marketing and also social media content creation. So um, how did you get into what you're doing now? Well, I sort of, uh, I found my passion for videography and I didn't really realise it at first, it was just like fun, silly videos. Yeah, yeah. Um, I got my first camera, it was like a Panasonic, you know, those um, small ones that zoom in and zoom out. And I would take it everywhere with me and I would film everything. Yeah. Um, and then I got an iPod Touch and that had an even better camera. Have iPod you heard of it? Yeah. Of course, I, I've, had, I've had the iPad mini. Okay. I, I, iPod mini, actually. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing. And then I kept recording videos, but then I started editing them on iMovie. Oh, nice. And I was like, wow, this is fun. Yeah. So then I sort of continued and upgraded. I got my first like DSLR and then made like more real sort of videos. Yeah. And so the reason why I'm not like doing anything else and why I chose to focus on this is because I want to um, focus on this passion that I have which is um, telling stories with videos and um, I was sort of at this point in my life it was like I either follow the status quo or I follow my passion and I decided to follow my passion for videography. Wow that's very similar story to me actually like I started doing videos on iMovie as well um, I kind of, my story is a bit different. I did, and I'll probably tell, tell you a bit later, but um, I, I also started off with iMovie. Um, and same mindset, you know, I, I could either follow the status quo or um, follow my passion and do something that I'm actually interested in. So, next question. How long have you been doing your business now? Um, so like, I launched it like officially in um, September. Yep. So what's that like? Of twenty of last year. Yeah, of last year. Okay, so fairly recent. Yeah. So fairly recent, but it was like three months before that. It was really like self learning, trying to um, understand how to actually run a business. You know, the accounting, mm. the finances, and then dealing with the clients, and then building up my mm. own knowledge and my own skills. Yeah. So it's sort of been like almost like a year I'd say but like mm. officially nice obviously you've officially launched the business last year late last year what have you learned so far what's one thing that really stood out to you um, in this journey of starting off your videography business um, um, and in probably even an agency right so yeah tell me about that so my key takeaway from running a business is time management that was like the hardest things for me because mm. like someone wants this filmed and then you're still editing this mm. but you still haven't sent this mm. um, so it was all about managing those deadlines mm. keeping those priorities mm. and because um, when you're working uh, for yourself right mm. you have you have to actually push yourself mm. a lot well. to meet those deadlines because sometimes you're like oh I don't really want to do this oh, I'm a bit tired today but you mm. have to sort of push through mm -hmm. um, another sort of challenge I would say is when I first started my business I was like I'm gonna become a millionaire I'm gonna make so much money I'm gonna be rich you know six figures seven figures that's, that's, that's <laughs> next year that's, that's next year yeah but I was like um, it's gonna be so easy you know like um, just put in some work and then it'll, all this money will be coming in mm -hmm. but really it's um, a struggle you know and you gotta um, be and enjoy that sort of process that you go through rather than just seeing the sort of outcome mm. because it's very easy to get lost you know following those um, looking at other people's achievements and yeah. saying oh I want to do that or he's doing that mm. or I want to do that too mm. and so that was also one of my challenges Nice. That's awesome. Um, you're definitely on the right path. I think you've recognized that, you know, 
there is no overnight success and it, do, it does come with a lot of hard work as you said um, starting with good time management so what challenges are you encountering right now like at the moment the most the thing that stands out to you the most okay so I said before like it was like time management and everything but um, I think it's sort of balancing like people's needs. I have a lot of uncertainty about where I want my business to go, how I want to get there, what I need to do next. Um, there's a lot of confusion right now because it's what the client wants and then what you sort of want to do, how your creative vision and um, you're getting paid from the client to do their vision but the reason why you became a videographer was to explore the creative vision, right, and the creativity yeah. and so that's sort of what I'm struggling. I'm saying do I sacrifice my creative vision for what the clients want to get more clients to get more money mm -hmm. or do I focus on my creative vision and sacrifice those clients sacrifice those opportunities mm. um, to have time to explore my own creativity yeah definitely I'll probably just give a quick uh, add my two cents on that since uh, it's probably something that um, I might be able to give some insight on my view has always been when you work for a client, you're there to serve them. Um, and ultimately, you know, you, you want to meet th their objectives. But the funny thing is, when they ask you for stuff, it, they might not realize that it's actually deviating from their objectives. So you want to get to a point where you progress and you become the expert in that field and they actually value your feedback and rely on your insight yeah. and so you now come into the situation or into, into this project with a bit of authority and you go and, and they respect you and they say look Alice like I'm not gonna put my input or I may give my two cents but look, Alice you're the expert so and that comes over time you know like it but that's where you definitely want to be heading towards. You know, you don't want to be too much of a technician. Technician is someone who kind of just takes orders. And so if the client says, do this, do that, you do it. You know, being able to have the, the knowledge and the experience to go, actually, that's great, but it's not really serving the objective. You know, can we rethink that? You know, there's also, a, you also come to a point where you get to choose the clients that you work with. You know, Hopefully, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to work for everybody. You may not be the right fit for that client. That client might not be the right fit for you. So you really want to work with people that value um, what you have to bring to the table. My view is when you're starting out, just really immerse yourself in it because you might think you know something about it, but then if you go down this rabbit hole of um, seeing what that's like, you might actually learn a couple of things. Um, and when you're starting out, well, it's certainly my my experience just taking on jobs and really stretching has really helped me to just figure out like um, you know what my strength is and, and what I can bring to the table so yeah I mean that's definitely a challenge that everyone faces because you know you're passionate about something but then I, oh, you, it's like oh it's actually a job for me it, it, is, it, it is actually it, it's still work for me I'm still serving clients so how do I balance that so normally, uh, so over time, you want to get yourself to a point where you are an expert. Hope that gives a bit of insight. We can definitely dive more into that later on. But um, yeah, that's just kind of my two cents on it at the moment. So what are you doing to learn, um, to improve yourself? You know, when you're starting off, the best thing you can do is just invest in yourself. And, and even like all throughout your career or running your business, you know, self-education is definitely the best thing you can do. So what are you doing at the moment to just learn? Well, I'm trying to practice the skill as much as possible, you know, explore all the different techniques mm. or the ha getting to know the camera, how it operates, um, getting familiar with all the different gear, you know, how to use the tripods, the mics. Um, but in reality, there's only so much that you can learn by yourself. Yeah. Um, 
and that's why like teamwork and having the input of others mm. is really beneficial. So I've been trying to reach out to um, more experienced filmmakers, for example, yourself, um, and just trying to see, <laughs> and just trying to see what they do, how do they do it, why do they do it, and just sort of deconstruct that, mm. see what they think, how they approach their business side, how they approach their clients, how do they handle their time. Um, and so try and learn from others and their experience because um, there's really only so much that you can read in books and the best way to learn is from like an experienced person. Yeah, spot on. Like that's, that's, that's what I've done as well. You just reach out to people um, and, and just absorb as much as you can. Um, literally be a sponge and just be very inquisitive, be very curious, be very helpful. Um, so yeah, you're definitely on the right track. I'm excited for you actually, <laughs> to see to see where, where you. your thing will take. Now, last question, um, where do you see yourself in the future? Maybe end of, the, end of this year, like what are your, what are your hopes um, for your business uh, or, and more importantly for yourself, you know? Because at the end of the day, we have our own goals and work is work, but at the end of the day, you've got to do things that make you happy, right? So what's something that you're look from, looking forward to? So I've been uh, trying to progress um, my business in a sort of different direction um, rather than just focusing on like video production because um, I know you can scale it into a big production company and do amazing shoots and all that. But I sort of want to go more into the marketing, into the social media aspect of um, how to get the most out of that video. Like it doesn't have to be the, like, the best video sometimes. It's how you use that video and how you leverage it and um, what audience you show it to, that kind of thing. Um, but really, like for myself, I sort of do want to go in deeper into the more creative things because I'm finding that the videos are very formulaic. It's like, mm. here's the brief, mm. you do B-roll and then you do interview mm. and then you cut them together mm. and like that's like every single video that, that I've done. Mm. Um, and so I sort of want to change it up a little bit. Mm. I kind of want to go and create like my own sort of short film and just mm. explore storytelling like a bit more and explore like my personal um, voice. Definitely, yeah. Nothing wrong with talking at videos, I have to <laughs> say. Well, but at the same time, I, I get what you mean. Like, I'm at a point now as well where I always, always, I always tell myself, you know, yeah, it'd be nice to really, not be nice, but I actually need to come back to where I started, where I was so quite driven and had the fire to be very unique. And so, even now, and I'm definitely not the expert, but I'm always at a point where I tell myself, cool, we did that, that was great, those videos were, were awesome, but how do I now innovate? How do I keep pushing those boundaries? Because it's that mindset that allowed me to get myself to where I am now, you know, not being yeah. stuck and doing the same old video, formulate videos, and I mean, by all means they work, especially if, if, you know, if you know how to use them. And funny enough, you know, th those beginner style videos are even harder to sometimes videographers still get them wrong, right? Like you see a video and like there's an intro, there's an ending, but you don't really know what, go what, go what goes on in the middle or there's an intro, there's a body, there's no ending, you know? So si simple stuff like that, it's so easy to forget. So sometimes it's, it's just great to just master the basic things and look at what's currently kind of plain and boring and actually refining it a bit more. So even though it's talking at video, it could be the best documentary you've seen. And yes, it's a talking head video, but the stories that you've drawn, the shots that you've taken, the B-roll and, and the A-roll, have made it much more than just a, a normal talking head video. So I'm excited for you. Um, we'll wrap it up there for now. Um, and yeah, well, I'm we'll definitely do more of these interviews going forward. We'll be great to see how you progress. Yeah. Hope that was great. Thanks, guys.